Hello all, welcome to another FFT Arena matchup. <coughs> and this time on top, we have uh, Zoris' newest team known as Lone Wolf and Cubs. And on bottom is uh, my team that I revised a while, uh, just just yesterday actually, Ever Faith yeah, Ever Faithful. There we go. Sorry I had a hard time even pronouncing my own team's name. Embarrassing. So for Zoris we have uh, Ogami Ito the Samurai. Daigoro the Squire, Oyuki the Ninja, and Torizo the Ninja. Well, um, we have a White Magic Samurai with uh, Attack of a Sura Knife. Okay, so that way he can um, do some um, melee wax with the Sura Knife. Um, strengthens fire, so the weapon's already pretty strong. He has only a draw, which is only a Sura. Uh, for white magic, he has a cure for raise, protect shell, regen, and asuna. Um, to be honest with you, you might have been better off trading cure four for Murasame. Murasame is instant, and while I know cure four does heal for more, but you don't really need cure four. Um, plus Murasame can heal for a wider range, it has a better AOE. It can heal more than one person. Cure four just seems kind of redundant to me. Um, uh, raising the sooner is good. Protecting shell is okay. Regen, I um <coughs> don't think that would exactly work out as well, especially since um if you're gonna try to cast a spell regen itself, it's bit of a turn waste, bit of a turn waster in my honest opinion. Um, otherwise, uh, this is a decent enough samurai, I suppose. Lin Robe for extra MP and a point of MA. And Kai Armlet, a uh, bit, of a, bit of an odd choice, but all things considered, you don't want Charm ruining your team. So that's fine. Squire here with um, item and throw item. Bit of an item bot. Warpath, so he can increase the damage done with the poison bow. Also has an Kai Armlet, to, I guess, to prevent Charm. Platina Shield to prevent um, wind and water. Oh, oh, I get the theme. This is a dark absorbing team. Okay. The ninja has item and throw item. And only has scorpion tail, platina dagger. Which is a good combo because you can get the poison proc. And get the Klim hazard proc along with it. Finger guard is okay. I mean, it does lower the chance of talk skill. I prefer auto potion personally over finger guard. Um, unless... No, there's no two units that have. There's only one unit that only had auto potion, so you could have had like a second unit of auto potion, and that's just me though. Um, and finally, a um, time magic using ninja with repel knife and scorpion tail. Nice combo. Poison and don't axe can be pretty deadly. As for short charge, he has like haste two, slow two, sinkhole, and um, demi two. Demi two is designed to heal up the rest of the squad. And it can also do damage um, to, to the enemy as well. It is percentage based, so it, Demi 2 is like half the um, total uh, max HP, so that's really nice. 7 MA is okay. Short charge and 9 speed, so she should be able to get it off at a decent rate. Um, well, everyone's got 9 speed as Otis' team except for the Samurai. So hopefully the Samurai won't have to play cl cleanup duty all too much too much or at least as far as um far as um being stuck in a res loop you know stuck raising people and whatnot whatnot my team meanwhile uh comprises of caleb the paladin dragon the lancer crystal the scholar and blasted time age this is a ice absorb team i got going on here um this is a paladin with masamune as well as um transfusion and iron will i think i no, not Iron Will. I think I gave him re-raise. Yeah, re-raise. Sorry. If I would have given him an Iron Will, I would have been 50 JP over the cap. But, um, yeah, re-raise, you know, in case one, some, one of my units is going to be in trouble. Uh, White Robe to cover the fire weakness. Uh, Germanus Boost, so the powder can just rush up and then hit someone with a concentrated Miramasa shot. Thus inflicting faith that's going to allow my Scholar and my Time Age to basically take full advantage of it. Scholar, my scholar has Rhyme Bolt, Bile, and Tornado. 
Hence why she has 108 gems. 15 MA, which is I think is going to be pretty decent. And with the time age also absorbing um, ice and wind, she has faith up. So that means that means the odds of frog and death are going to be much, much better. Just thought I'd bring that up. And I, of course, I have an item bot Ran Lancer that just simply keeps everyone in check. Uh, Dragon Spirit, so you can get a re-raise. Um, this was a bit of a c cool concept I came up with um, a while back. I have not exactly perfected it, but I don't know. Maybe this match might do me some good. Regardless if it's a winner or a loss, we'll find out. Alright, first round, we're going to be going to map 10 inside of Igor's Castle. So, we shall see what happens. Alright, Zotus is in the black while I am in the white. This is a bit of a larger map, so this is kind of in my favor. I want to say. My Paladin Haste uh, does Monster Moon on himself and the Lancer, the two right units for this. Zoe does have Haste too, but my Time Age also has Slow too. And she ain't afraid to use it. No Faith up that time. Squire's a bit out of range. Lancer is just being passive because nothing's been done to my units as of yet. See, Samurai's looking for Shell. Oh, nice. Quad pound shell. One of them didn't miss, though. And there's a slow two. But there's faith up. Alright, Skull's gonna be looking for a tornado. But it won't do as much damage because three units are already shelled. But one of them can guard it anyway. And wow, despite, um... Oh, I think there's the one that... No, despite Shell, Tornado still took care of one of the other ninjas. Very impressive. See, Raze goes off. Death. Lands. That's due to Faith Up. Triggering. So far, I am at a slight advantage. And wow, Tornado's doing a lot of the work here for me, and anyways. <coughs> oh, Time Age gets one-shotted by the Samurai, but Lance is right there for the res. And my Paladin's right there for the Transfuse. Plus he has, um, move HP up as well, so... Transfusion pretty much didn't, uh, in the end took nothing away from him. And thank God for his five move, too. Another Tornado! Oh, a triple kill tornado. Nice. 73% frog coming up. If that hits, it's game over. Yep. I take round one. Alright, we shall see what happens in round two. Round 2 is about to get underway as we are now in map 29, color underground, second floor. Last match, um, Zosis team did try something early on with the poison proc and the slow 2. <clears throat> um, but, thanks, thanks heavily pretty much to the scholar. And, um, to finish things off the time age. Well, my time age, rather. Um, yeah, Zosis almost had, um... <laughs> Zoro's team pretty much, pretty much got taken out almost immediately. So now we're going to see how uh, round 2 shapes up. So let's see, the ninja's got to rush forward against the time age. Does not quite kill her. But she's going to get hit with a demi 2 coming up. Unless I can do something here. Well, my paladin can do something, something rather. The Skull will be looking for a Tornado. And Shell does go off, so there's Demi-2. 
and there's Faith up. So the Time Mage's um, odds of hitting Death of Frog is going to be much higher now. Torneo knocking out um, one of Zer uh, Zerus's ninja. See, Time Mage will be looking for a slow two. And does get, does get them both. Time Mage does go down, but there's a Faith proc, which means uh, if the Lancer could just pick up the Time Mage and oh, well, choose choosing not to, that's a bit odd. Yeah, the Lancer should have picked up the Time Mage. I think my Lancer was just stupid and not realizing that um. That, yeah, there you go. Now you pick her up. She could have gotten healed from the Rhyme Bolt. Eh, no matter. My team's definitely in control. Yeah, you see right there, that's a fifth waste to give Samurai that cure for. Remember Same, while it would have healed for somewhat less, um, it, it heals more allies. So looks to be another uh, lore coming up, and Blast will be looking for a yeah. And there's safe up. Death should hit. It does. <coughs> so I take both rounds in rather quick fashion. GG.